I went back to when I was 14, I needed a wake-up call, really, because I was hanging around with the wrong crowd, doing stupid things, getting drunk all the time. So she'd be on the corner of the road, she'd be with bare people, just doing nothing. Because you don't know what she's going to get into, or where she end up in the police cell or whatever. Kashira is mum to four-month-old Malachi. She was just 14 and had been seeing her 16-year-old boyfriend, Jareek, for six months when she fell pregnant. I did love Jareek when I got pregnant, but I didn't... I, I wasn't ready to have a, a baby. Remember it was, like, yesterday when he was born? I thought it was my brother. Your brother? <laughs> You're an idiot. How can you think... How can you not see him as your son? You just saw him as your brother. Was you were still like, in shock, probably. It was weird. Like, he looked exactly like I did when I was younger. Yeah, that's because he's your son. You go out to dinner, you go to the cinema, you get a cab home or whatever, everything's all heated or whatever, blah, 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 blah. No one's here. You're upstairs. Stuff starts to happen. Have you got contraception? No. Do you give up or do you carry on? I wanted to go in the pill, but it's just you have to take it every day and I just couldn't be bothered and like, I'm. I would forget to do it, so in the end I just didn't bother using anything. But I suppose I was naive because I just thought nothing would happen. If I could go back in time, there's a lot of things I would change. Um, after that dinner, I would go home. You know, it's just little things like that. I would go home, get something and come back. When we argue, we don't really get anywhere but just like, shouting. I think I blame myself for the simple reason I wish I was there more, you know. I knew she had a boyfriend at the time, but I didn't know she was doing anything. I thought they was just, you know, chilling out. Like, didn't think they doing the bee's knees and that. Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? I told Drake I was pregnant by a text. Um, I think he was in shock. Literally, my reaction was pick up the phone, look at the text, drop the phone. Everyone around me, I was just stunned. I looked at the screen, I couldn't... I just... I was there for a good ten minutes just watching the screen. I didn't want to tell certain members of my family because I knew how they would take it and they'd get angry and shout at me. And just, they, I suppose they expected more from me. I said, I don't think you should keep it, is what I said. Which wasn't very nice and everyone was jumping down my throat then. But I wish I hadn't said it now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I was adamant, like, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. He was a bit scared and did want me to have an abortion, but as time went on, we started talking more and... After she had a scan, she gave me the scan for her and I actually couldn't. It just wouldn't work. I couldn't do it. I did, in the end, I decided I wanted to keep it. Kashira's dad, George, and brother, Ben, live 40 miles away in Dunstable. Yeah. Yeah. Because of school, she can't live with her dad, but it's him she turns to for her main support. Yeah, I do have an easy relationship with my, with my dad. We're more close than I am with my mum. We've got, like, a strong bond. Coke. What's wrong with you? It's more than coke, isn't it? Dad, there better not be no rum in there. <laughs> oh, my God, there is as well. I just love my dad to bits. I'm just a daddy's girl. It's just, with me being the only girl, I suppose, it's, I'm spoiled, as everyone says. She started changing, I think, when she started secondary school. A uh, bit more of a troublemaker, I would say. Going out past her time, not saying where she's going, just getting up and going, not answering the phone when she's out. 
I was hanging with the wrong crowd, doing things I shouldn't be doing, so I wasn't really bothered about life or anyone out. I just didn't care. At the age of 13, I think it was, I got kicked out of school. For bullying and not listening to the teachers, answering back, being rude. Fighting, my uniform, having my nose pierced and refusing to take it out. Now I think about it, stupid things, but at the time I just didn't care if I did get kicked out of school and got sent to um, a pupil referral unit. I went to the PRU in year nine and it was in the middle of year 10 when I found out I was actually pregnant. So then like, I just knew I had to put my head in my books and just focus on my future and my, my unborn child and like, I wanted a good future for him. She attends a pupil referral unit three days a week where she's in her final year and about to take her mock GCSEs. I think that if Malachi wasn't here, i will still be doing the stupidness I was doing. I wouldn't care about my work, so him, like me being pregnant with him and him being here has made me change, so I'm happy about that. I'm on the right path now. Lucky he ain't peed on you. He would never when do he was that. first born, he used to, and it went right over his head once. Like, what else is it? Oh my gosh. It was at the study centre that she made a new set of friends. 15 year old Casherelle and 16 year old Shanice. They supported her through her pregnancy. I met Shanice through her cousin when I was in a mainstream school, and then she actually got kicked out of school and came to the same pupil referral unit. Oh, that does stink. Right, yeah, I'll see that next to you. You put it wrong, you fish. Oh, Come on now, love. That's, 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 you're slipping, you're slapping. 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 you are slapping 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 well, I'm a mum and she's a mum to be. That is your business, bro. I would put anyone off a pregnancy. Wow. You see? Wow. Yeah, she's got this, uh, I remember. So you ain't even got those stretch marks. Yeah, you love me. I ain't even got those stretch marks. I know. I didn't actually have any ideas that I was pregnant, but it's just like my period was taking long to come on. My uncle is asking me, Shanice, had your period come on? When's the last time you had your period? Stuff like this. I'm like, I don't know. Like, I had it the other day, like, just to get off my back. I used to just say, oh, I just, I just, I just come off it, just to get off my back. Like, but then my cousin started getting on my case and she was like, she needs to take a pregnancy test. Shanice finally took a pregnancy test in a KFC toilet with her cousin and friend for support. Unable to look at the result herself, she handed it to them. And then you just took it, you put it down there, you and Tian were watching it. I was like, oh gosh. I go, don't make no noises. All I hear is, <gasps> Who made the noise? Both of you. I'm thinking, I, you told me my answer now, innit? I don't think I'll ever forget that. <laughs> that was not even funny. It was funny, think about it now, it was funny. But back in the day, it was not really funny. Wasn't. So me and my friend came up to my house and we were all making a list of pros and cons, but you can't, I couldn't think of anything. None of us could think of something like to do as a pro or do as a con. Most of the cons were, you couldn't go out no more. Um, there's no money, there's this, there's that, you can't do it and stuff like that. But then there was no pros, but then when you come to think about it, it's like the pro for me that it could have been was I could grow up. Basically out of control. When I got kicked out of school, I was kicked out for my behaviour and attitude. I can't actually pinpoint why I was angry, because there's so much stuff that's in my head that a little thing would just trigger it. What I'd done was right, and what anybody else had done is wrong. I think getting pregnant has actually been a benefit for me. Got me closer to my family. Me and my mum get along better. I'm more mature, that's it. I'm more mature than what I used to be. Like, I'm a 16-year-old that's thinking like a, obviously like a mum now.
I wish that I stayed in a proper school. Same. Where well, I would have had a prom, would have had a big picture. Exactly, like, more opportunity. Yeah. Well, I just got to learn from my mistakes and teach Malachi and Kyle, like, go through the right path. But then they might be stubborn like we were, sure, and just want to make our yeah, own mistakes. True. All you can do is try. Yeah. If they listen to you, they listen to you. If they don't, then it's, they're going to find out the hard way, like we did. But I'll just, like, from early, I'll be strict with Malachi. Like, I won't hit him or nothing, but I'll just be like, you're going to school. I want him to get good qualification. and yeah. do well. Hey, look at you, with milk all over your face. Shanice was in the middle of her GCSEs and had been seeing the father of her child for only four weeks when she fell pregnant. At the time, I liked him, and I could see that I, well, I thought there could be something for us, but then when I fell pregnant, there was nothing for us. I was worried about um, the baby's dad, yeah, because obviously she didn't make the baby on her own, so she shouldn't have to raise the baby on her own. He's a sort of bear where... He had to see proof, because before me and him started seeing each other, I just finished in a long-term relationship, whereas he still thought that I was still sleeping with my ex, when, so he's still saying that how he wants me to have... He wants to get a DNA test for the child and stuff like that. So I'm saying, if, if that's going to make you feel better, to make you feel like you're the father of the baby, then you can do that, but I'm not going to be the one to get the money and pay for the DNA test, because when I know it's your, your child... There's no ifs, buts, or maybes that it might be someone else, because I wouldn't sleep with nobody else. Boys just have it easy, really. Trust me, they they have periods. Put the child nothing. there and then leave it. Yeah. And <laughs> so. it's even like, I was at college the other day and we had sex education, and then the t teacher was like, if they invent it, because they might be inventing a pill for a boy to take, innit? And then none of the boys would take it. I'm thinking, but wait, if the time them, is us that we don't take the pill, we're going to get cast off for it, but the boys... And then they want to, like, breed people. And, 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 they, and they want to say it's our there. fault and all exactly. that. It's not our fault. It's just stupid. It took both of us to do it, like. I think she deserves help, but if he doesn't want to get involved, she's got the support of everybody else, so we don't need him. Mine are definitely better. I'm shocked, sure. It's girly when you get your nails done, cos, like, It's for girly, yeah. and, like, and then you open the door, you show the nails, and, and like, you get... <laughs> you can't look on the bus, you show your nails. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you just show your nails. Like. Let me see if I can text. <laughs> All right, my name is... It's <laughs> <laughs> Nah, it's not too bad. It's just can't be doing no essays when I'm arguing. Kashira does have the father of her child in her life. If you have mommy on Facebook, look. <laughs> Shut up. Definitely. I'll still get my GCSE. 17-year-old Jarik only lives a few doors down the road. Since um, Malachi was born, he's been really good. Like, um, the first couple of weeks home with Malachi, he was here constantly helping me with the night feeds, just, like, doing things together. So <laughs> yeah. Just one-third of teenage mothers are with the father of their child by the time it reaches five years old. I've never really wanted to be part of or to have my child in a single parent relationship. So in terms of um, me and her, we had, it was like we work out or we become, we stay friends or we stay civil. Things with me and him, they're rocky. We have our good times, we have our bad, but I suppose it's because we're both young and it's more of a stress on us because we've got a son together. So it's not really the usual for young teenagers in a relationship, it's just, it's hard to have, like, try and maintain a relationship and look after your child, and it's just, it just gets stressful sometimes and a bit too much. You're sleeping on the sofa tonight, like, do you know that? In fact, you're sleeping on the floor, you're even getting that luxury with no blanket. I'm going to make sure it's bare cold. You idiot. <laughs> in the future, me and Shara, I don't know if I'd be with her or not, because something could happen tomorrow which will break us up, but then we could get back together in about 10 years, five years, two minutes, so... It depends, really. I can't call it. We're too up and down. Today it's Kashira's 16th birthday. She's having dinner with her friends, Shanice and Kasharel, and two old friends from her area, Renicia and Tixie. The conversation quickly turns to taking pregnancy tests. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, they pee me on it. Oh, no, they, they take a drop and then they drop yeah, it. Yeah, I don't You pee in a cup and then they drop it and then they put it on the... Yeah. Yeah. When I went clinic here, the woman was facing me. I didn't like her. What is it? Do you know what happened, yeah? We were in the clinic now, yeah? I've gone to see my girl, yeah? And then she she's done a test and everything, and she goes, okay, you're pregnant. Sit in there. I go, okay. And she's sitting there, pure silence. Like, <laughs> I go, so what, you done then? Not being rude or nothing, like, you're sitting in silence. Just tell them yeah. you're pregnant, and you're not going to offer support or nothing. <laughs> London has the highest rate of teenage pregnancy in the country, and rates among British, black or mixed-race girls are significantly higher than the national average. Being 16 yeah. old, and having a baby is like a natural thing to people. <laughs> No. It's the norm now. I don't think, and especially in Britain, it's the norm. I don't think it's ever going to change. probably going to get younger. For real. So with Shanice being pregnant, because she's our friend, it was just another one bites the dust kind of thing. But <laughs> with everyone else, it's like, with them two, it happens, but other girls are taking it as a trend. But I don't know. And girls think if I have a baby with this boy, he's going to stay with me for the rest of his life. And it's not the case, because look how much single mums you got. We've been there talking today. Bless you, quite long sleeping. How long did we sleep for? Not long. Just been fed. Guess what I got for us? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. Do you want green or blue? Green. <laughs> it's the smiley <laughs> With just two months to go until Shanice's due date, Kashira has decided to show her birth video. Twice, twice, twice. It's just hanging there in mid air. There's blood everywhere. Cause I, I remember, I can, I can still feel it. It's like slimy. <laughs> look how white he is. Look, he's looking at me as well. Watch out, hold on to you. <laughs> Look at me crying like oh. a donut. There's bare blood. Oh, look, I'm smiling. Oh, no, sure, it was wind. It wasn't wind. <laughs> I caught my brother's cord, you know. Did you? Mm hmm Are you having um, drugs or anything? Gas on there, that's it. I don't know epidural or nothing. No, I didn't do that. The birth, it happened, all happened so quick, I didn't really feel it. Mm. But there was a contraction. You've got that for hours and then you have to be walking around and stuff. What's yeah. wrong? It's just... It's... I ain't got time to walk around. I'm a very lazy person. No, you have to for the head, the drop. You're sick and stuff as well, just mm. before labour. And it's usually, like, this green stuff. It's like all the, the stuff at the bottom of your stomach, like, all the acid and stuff. You're, you're sick it up. And sometimes you have, like, a show, which is, like, some mucusy thing with blood. And it comes out of your mouth? No, not the mucusy oh, thing, but the sick does. I'm not really worried about giving birth at the end of the day. I got up there easy enough, so obviously it had to come out, but it's going to be a, a lot more worse than going up. But then it's I can't keep her in there all my life. No. I just want the labour to come on and she's out. Like. You better call me, though. I want to actually... I want to come. Come where? To the birth. What birth? Your birth! No, in a certain way, it is good that she's quite laid back because she's not stressing before the birth or anything like that, which is good. But I do think she might get a little shock when reality hits her. At Kashira's house, the 16-year-old mum is doing her mock exams this week, so has even more on her plate than usual. Like, when I get home from school, obviously, I just want to relax and do what I want to do, but obviously I can't because I've got to think, oh, has Malachi got washing to do? Have I got, like, school uniform for the next day? Oh, my brother's hungry, who's cooking, what does Malachi want? So it is hard, cos, like, all the things that parents should be doing, or do do, I, I now do. He is dead to the world. <laughs> Hello. Sometimes I do get a bit stressed out and angry and upset about all the responsibilities that are on me. Is mummy waking up? Juggling the baby, school, and then getting back home, sorting him out. Still, she's 
got all her washing and stuff to do. You know, it is a lot. But she's still really a child herself. Recently, I've been having my mocks, so that's like been stressful because I like, got to look after Kai, fit revision in, because I could be revising something and Malachi start crying, and I've got to stop. Then I've got to go back and I forgot where I am, and then it's just, it's, it's hard, it is hard. In the future, I want to be a midwife, but it's just really putting my head down in the books, taking time to revise and taking it seriously and finding the time. But it is it's really stressful, especially it's stressful for people without kids. So with, in my situation with a kid, it's even more stressful. I would rather she was living here with me, but obviously it's a long way out. You know, I've thought about moving back to London because that's where everything is for her. With her exams in full swing and Jarik busy at college, Kashira is struggling on her own with Malachi, so her dad George has come up with a temporary solution to help get her through. She was getting tired and stuff. That's why I said the day she was at school, I would take him with me at night and take him back to her in the morning so she could get a good night's sleep. So, I know, I know, the phone's coming. Kick it away, anyway, right? You're so like your mum, isn't you? Moni. <laughs> All right, look, it's here. God, mate. I don't know how she copes, because I, I don't know if I could cope. When I was doing my GCSEs, I barely had enough time to look at books than I did to look at a child all the time, do you know what I mean? So it's so quite a hard job to do. Now do you know why you need such a big bag? Yeah. Yeah, OK, I thought so. My pyjamas can go in the bottom. And look, you need your While nature. Kashira gets on with her mock exams, Shanice and friend Tixie get ready for the arrival of her baby girl, who's due in just four weeks. Because you're breastfeeding, right? Yeah, see, so your breastfeeding turns and it's open, but I'm going to bloop. It comes out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. So there we go. <laughs> this and this was the first outfit I ever bought with my own money. Oh, bless. My num. Oh, what I haven't seen it. So when I have my blue one, she, my black one, she can she have her have pink, pink one. Ones. Yeah, her Ralphs. Oh, they are well cute. Oh, look at the Ralph Lauren on the bottom. Yeah, they're as 9 well. to 12. That'll be like next winter. Mm. So when I say that having a baby is something for me to do, it's something for, for me to like live for, if it, if it makes sense. Like before I had nothing to, it was just there, like my life was just there. I had nothing to do, no goals, no nothing to look after or something like that. But now I've got a child coming, obviously my goals, my biggest goal is to help support my child and make sure she turns out right and everything like that. So it's something to live for. It's two weeks since Kashira took her mocks and she hasn't done as well as she'd hoped. On top of that, her mother has decided to move back into her house. As space will now be an issue for the family, Kashira is looking at a young mum's hostel. I want to come to a mother and baby because I have my own space. Like At home, there's, there's a lot of people. Me and mum always argue a bit, so if I'm here, I have to chill out. I still see my mum and my family, but I have my own space, really. So is there, is there much 16 year olds here at the moment, or is it mostly older? Um, we've got, I think we've got one at the moment, um, but quite often they, they move in when they're 16 and then obviously when the babies grow up and they move out, they're a bit older than that, so... No, no. Welcome, come in. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is Kashera, this is Deandra. Hi. And Naomi. And they're little. Thank you. Uh -oh. <laughs> so what happens if like the baby's dads want to come or visitors or anything? Yeah, they can come and stay. You can have visitors until 12 o'clock. More or less, you live here as if it is your own flat. Mm -hmm. But obviously, once the time gets on a bit, you do want more yeah. independence. Because before, like, I came, I thought, nah, I'm not living in a new hostel. Mm. But actually, now I've come here and seen it. Yeah, they're proper one-bedroom flats. Yeah. It's, not it's like your only little apartment in one, yeah. yeah. So it's not like a typical hostel where you have to share things, because that yeah, would be like, a bit unhygienic yeah, for children, etc. Yeah, I would hate that, OCD with that. Yeah. If 
if I like do get to live here, it will be a fresh start just for me, have my own space and me in Malachi. By the time I probably get here, I'll probably be on my way to finishing school, so I'll be in college. So everything will be new and starting off, so it will be it will be good, hopefully. I think it's a good idea because she has to then start learning to stand on her own feet, you know, without, you know, you'll always be here, but she has to then start doing more and more for herself and realise it's not a piece of cake. Eight days after Shanice's due date, she gave birth to daughter Kaya. I don't even remember telling me to push. All I, all I remember is that I felt like I was weeing myself, so I'm going, I'm weeing myself. That's what I was so scared of pooing myself. Especially <laughs> Drake there. I was like, get outside. Like, he's in the room with my brothers, and I was like, that's why I was on the toilet. So I was like, yeah. I'm gonna poo, I'm gonna poo. <laughs> and it probably feels like it as well. Labour wasn't what I expected. I thought it was gonna be much worse. It's like, with me, I never knew that I had such a strong pain threshold. So it was like, it wasn't really that bad with me. It has been weird to have a baby like in my room with me that I am responsible for. So whenever she's crying in the night, I have to get up to her and everything like this, like, like that. A couple of nights I felt out of my depth when she's screaming and she's not settling. I am glad for the help that I've got with like my mum and everything because I don't think I could do it by myself, really. We've just got a stronger bond because we both know where we come from. Like, we've both been from the same thing. Like, we both were pregnant. We both we had... We've experience Yeah, that's the one. That is the one. <laughs> <Come on, laughs> <that's laughs> Sleep deprived, that's what it is. Since I got pregnant, I, my family was like, oh, what have you done to people? <laughs> like, I was thinking it's okay to get pregnant. And now there's people planning, oh, my God, I want a baby. And I'm thinking... You don't want you, a baby you don't. You don't know what you want right now because mm -hmm. they tend to and think like babies think are about, fashion accessories. Yeah, they, like, obviously, I didn't... Like, I didn't get pregnant, I was like, she needs to get pregnant. It, so I, it, it. it actually <laughs> happened, but it seems like it's happened happens for the best for a reason. reason. Yeah. So it's a good thing, really. And this little dumpling's got a little friend. 